what is up everybody i was planning on coming live here on new year's eve about for two weeks but i happened to my feed afternoon i noticed now there's like eight people going live and i didn't want to come live just to open the box up and chit chat and take away from other people's streams uh figured i'd end the new year in a positive way by not doing that to anybody but don't worry guys in the future if i say i'm coming on live regardless of whoever else is on we're rolling with it so uh, i figured i'd just be polite tonight and not sit there and uh come on between like eight people streams that i see is now going live so we're gonna end the year off with a break of course personal break for myself and don't know what we'll start the year off with but this is one of the hardest boxes to have a hit out of it is 1920 contenders optic t-mall um i'm gonna put the camera up just a tad here hurt so you guys can see you there's no guaranteed of an auto in here there we go uh, but there are red versions and gold versions of tickets that aren't auto so i figured we'd play a little game with this here um since that auto is very hard to hit in here let's go if we pull a zion or morant red or gold wave or red or gold variation or yeah gold wave or red whatever it is in here it's tmall select red wave there it is uh we'll do a giveaway somewhere either in this video or at the end of this video or i'll just post one next week but if you're not an active person your comments ain't gonna count i'm only gonna take the active people it's been into streams and stuff so we'll go with if we pull a zion or a morant in here either red wave gold wave don't matter um, if we pull an auto, we'll go with Morant, Zion, Kobe White, Tyler Hero, and, and, let's go Cam Reddish. So, that, that's the thing. I mean, it's really hard to hit. Really, really hard. I've watched so many people with pieces of this stuff, and they're lucky to see an auto or two. But let's go bigger, go home for the end of the year, something that has... Probably the worst upside downside in a product there is. And we're gonna give it a shot. Alright, here. Do 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 do. If I remember right, it's just one. Oh, we do got gold. Oh, we got something back here. Alright. Start these off here, and this is good because when you get stuff like this, go go uh, go go rookie out of this, this is actually selling, even though it's not an auto, believe it or not. If I can refocus, oh, you know what? I did dip the camera down, that's why. Hurt. All right, there we go. Go go starts us off. And I am going to polish these up before I sleeve them. You guys get to see me uh, a little bit longer on the video today. Yeah, my plan was to come live and do a little white claw action with y'all, but uh, anyway, I, after I seen everybody wanting to jump on today, I was like, man, I ain't going to do it. Right, we're just going to sleeve that because I don't know if I well, actually it might fit in a 59er. Yep. Into the old 59ers. Rudy Gilbert. Next one up. Let me grab another thing because I am unprepared of 59s. Because I don't see names under there. Bad cards. No, we already know we're over one. Every time I start something, I think I have enough top loaders out, and I always guess wrong. All right. Up next, Bam Adebayo. He's over $300 a box. It's probably one of the biggest things that if you can hit, you hit well. If you don't, you're done. Like these, we're done. Buddy Hield, Red Wave, Season Ticket. And they're not numbered, it's just a variation for T Mall. All 
All right, we got two cards left here. We already know this is a red Jamal Murray. Gold? Nope. Well, this is nice. It's not a red or gold way, but it's a John Morant lottery ticket. Man. We will take that, though. It will go get graded. Holy cow. It's so shiny, the camera does not want to focus on it. There we go. Really nice looking card there. Josh stays with us still to this day. These are real hard to grade. They are considered the prism optic. Uh, if you ever look in the back, see, they'll say the word prism. All right, so you just don't want to play with me. Go, and I don't have a holder out here, so I used all my grading ones up. That'll get graded there. I mean, it'll probably come back at nine like they usually do, but these days now. It's best just to grade those cards because sell them raw, you're probably going to end up getting somebody on eBay that's going to want a refund. Well, was it the best? Was it the worst? We definitely could have done a lot worse. Uh, Morant probably saved it. I'm trying to start put these other in here uh semi ridge holders i got in from bcw luckily i got so many in i'm stocked up for next year well i am just not winning on anything here tonight there we go Look, I don't even have a white claw, and I'm all foobard here. If we had hit a gold or a red wave of uh, Moran, it would have been huge. That was the whole point of uh, trying to pull something big end of the year out. Our one hit, not eligible for a, a giveaway for anything, but still helps out with the overall break. All right, everybody, stay safe out there tonight. Have a good New Year's. Ain't no new product out to the 13th of January, which is Playbook Football. Uh, we'll see what we do. I do have a, some Pokemon coming in, Hidden Fates, that was released earlier this year. I got a restock order in, and I guess I actually got allowed it. So I don't know if I'm going to open it or not, but we'll see. Other than that, see you all next year. Take care. Be good tonight. Stay safe out there if you plan on getting the party hardy on. All right. Talk to y'all later.